Here we are going on to week 10 after a very impressive win over the Niners. But the biggest thing for this week is we are finally fully healthy, meaning Kenneth Walker is officially back, baby. Let's take a look at the Jaguars while we're here. Evan Ingram is a four-week injury guy, and Bobby Johnson, a youngster who's an 81 overall, got to assume he's decent, is out for one more week. But let's take a look at the players of the week as Metcalf maybe had one. I doubt it. He was good, but he wasn't like, you know, crazy performance. But Jordan Brooks, one sack, one interception, and 11 tackles we take at the Steelers. Like the Rams last week, uh, stealing a bunch of awards. Najee with an insane game. Same with Heisman, three sacks and a forced fumble. Goes Greer finally in the top three for quarterbacking. You can see with the yards there, uh, touchdowns are a little bit lower. Interceptions were limiting, but still have quite a bit on the season. Let's take a look at the lineup now that Kenneth and Moore are back. I don't know why I said our back, but let's take a look at how this is going to go. As obviously Caldwell, he was good, right? But Moore, he was, he's him. Moore has more potential. Ironically enough, more potential. Uh, Would have been nice to see him actually play the full season, but yeah, I mean, maybe there's a question mark on that position. We'll see, obviously, but Kenneth. We missed you. You're back. Finally. He's finally back. And what else could you ask for? Of course, let's take a look at the defensive side of the ball. Some upgrades there. Northcutt. Brooks, obviously, with the player of the week. Wollen with an upgrade. All the corners with an upgrade point. And before we use those points, let's take a look at this Jaguars team. Go through our uh, you know scenarios there and kind of get our weekly strategy and upgrades in. Tra uh, Trevor Lawrence, really good. 90 overall, 84 speed, and 88 excel. Uh, you know, give me some Andrew Luck vibes. I know that man name comes up a lot, but uh, 94 throw power, 98 short, 92 medium, 88 deep, 90 throw on the run, 85 throw under pressure, 83 break sack, kind of drops from there. Uh, running back, James Robinson, what a name drop, still here, or came back, if you will. Uh, Austin Robertson, you know, not a bad backup, but for his size, should probably be a little bit faster than that. Receivers, Christian Kirk is a very solid player. Uh, Lavishka Chenault is here. Looks pretty good. Donovan Peoples-Jones is decent. And then Shelton Jackson, 93 speed, 6'3 wide receiver. I'd be starting him. Of course, tight end a little uh, thin as Evan Ingram's injured. It's now down to the 6'6 Ellington, 83 speed, 85 XL. Not bad, actually. Left tackle's not great. Left guard is solid. Center's a rookie, so we're not going to judge him. Camp looks good. And then Steele is a pretty good player. Uh, Derek Barnett's their left end at the moment. Chad Rogan is the right end. DTs are Fatu Kasi and Devon Hamilton. Left outside linebacker Trayvon Walker, 89 speed, 92 excel, uh, 86 power move, 88 block shed. Inside linebackers are great. They got three good ones. Josh Allen is amazing. Block shed's a little iffy in fairness, but cornerback, some speed there. Two Griffins with McCreary at number three. Free safety is slow as hell, but strong safety, very solid. 80s plus zone with 92 speed, 93 excel at 6'2". That is a tough guy to pass against. All right, let's take a look at our scenario first, which is a tandem breakout, which means Metcalf will be getting some XP no matter what. Uh, I'm going to praise Xavier Moore. I don't know the difference between these two, to be honest, but let's see. Xavier Moore coming in out of nowhere. Uh, is apparently just going to ask for 150 yards after being injured for how many weeks? Okay. And then game planning for Trevor Lawrence. Uh, unrelenting pressure or blanket coverage? I'm going to go with blanket coverage because we are uh, a better coverage team than we are pass rushing, which is kind of crazy to think. But beat the Jaguars and have four-plus combined pass deflections and interceptions. That's not crazy bad. We also get a plus three to man and zone on the week, which is really helpful Weekly strategy. I mean, I would assume they like to pass the ball, right? They're kind of middle of the pack, but let's go with stopping the medium pass and then attacking them with apparently the ground game. I mean, I think Kenneth Walker coming back, we're going to be careful, but I think he should get some good carries in. Oh my, the amount of upgrades we have. I think I'm just going to upgrade uh, in the background, and if a really good upgrade comes up, I will show it. Uh, I'm not really sure how much two agility helps, but I mean, I guess a quarterback getting something like agility is is cool, I suppose, kind of. 
I, I guess. But yeah, not the craziest of upgrades. Not the worst either. Like a bunch of, you know, decent one. Like um, Woolen got plus two to man and all that. Which, I mean, it's not bad. It's just... I don't want the video to be too long on some basic, you know, upgrades. It's a little bit of a cloudy day, but it's perfectly fine as this is the day the Jaguars wish they didn't exist because they may be facing the wrath of Kenneth Walker as he's finally back and healthy. I'm curious to see what he can get back up to once he gets back on the field. Is Don't get me wrong, Tanner was decent, but... It's just, there's just no replacing Kenneth Walker. There really isn't. Of course, Moore is back now, so we have unbelievable depth at wide receiver again, and the speed is is there, and a different style of wide receiver is, you know, Caldwell's a little bit on the taller side, whereas Moore is, you know, pure speed shortness, so he's really tough to get a hand on, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Obviously, Caldwell back at the full returning capabilities as well, and I'm not saying we're throwing him out there to die, but... You know, it can be a little bit more risky, use up a little bit more energy if he needs to to get more creative. And yeah, we're just back to being the Seahawks. Simply put, touchback on the return. And now going to see Trevor Lawrence's numbers. Obviously, last week we uh, gave some fits to the then pickless Trey Lance, forced him to throw several. And now Trevor Lawrence, 18 touchdowns and nine interceptions, not having nearly as good of a season may be faced against the same task. All right, they got that youngster running back in already. Defense pretty much the same. Nothing really changing for us. Oliver forcing, and the ball will get out pretty cleanly, gaining about seven on the play from Lawrence to actually didn't even see who it was. Kind of just was focused more on taking them down rather than worrying about who it actually was. And wow, did you see Northcott? Doesn't matter though, Trevor Lawrence in some trouble, will not throw it away in a sack from Red. Once again, it has become some star in this league and we should really call a timeout here. We are not ready. They're still gonna go with the five, but we do have a little bit of a blitz coming in. It's up to Alexander to get a nice press here against this tight end, which we did. He still has a little bit of separation though and we miss. I mean, I felt like we played that really well, and with Alexander's speed, I thought we could catch up, but the tight end just had a little bit more leverage on us and beat us. It's really crazy, though, because, like, a tight end's not that fast. I know he's a, you know, a bit on the bigger side, but I am shocked that he got away. Like, I'm surprised he pulled away. Northcutt got killed, and wow. Is that LaVisca Chenault just coming away with an ice catch on the rookie who was in perfect coverage? Can't ask for better coverage than that, especially in zone. Trevor Lawrence with a really good throw, and they took a uh, shot, took a chance, and it worked. The rookie thinking he had an interception there, but instead, a little bit of a mossing, if you will. Maybe not fully, because technically, oh, uh, we got a piece of him, and we need some help. Come on, fellas. That Milner getting in there now. It is Marshall, who's kind of playing all around. That's what it's all about. Second and six from the 34. Lawrence getting, I mean, all the time in the world. Not that he needed it, but would have had it first down on the quick throw. Obviously going for a lot of hit sticks and also obviously missing a lot of tackles because of it. We need to play a little bit more conservatively here. This is not going to be a run. Brooks, we stepped. We got blocked up by their running back, basically, as they gained nine yards. That Robinson, a superstar, he is. would love to see what abilities he has. All right, Northcutt. Let's see what he's got. Nothing. The center just handles him. Doesn't gain much, but he gains enough for the first down. From the 11, the Jaguars are moving. They're in a pretty good spot here, playing pretty well on offense. I get stuck on Oliver. Not my favorite player in the world, but he's good. And there goes Kirk stiff-arming Adams, of all people, for six. Obviously trying to strip that ball out anyways, but even with the strip attempt, you think Adams would be able to take him down. I guess not. And they will run it. Adams getting some revenge on one of his teammates, though. Gains a yard. And we're going to sit in some man with the two hooks. This is, I mean, about the best of defense you can get. And to the outside, that backup tight end making plays. Beating Brooks this time. Touchdown, Tanner Ellington. The Jaguars score first. Obviously, that was a pretty good drive from them as they scored at ease pretty much. Five minutes wasted as well, which means... You know, they get us on a three and out. They've got us mentally and physically beat pretty pretty early, you know? So this is a very important drive, and I think uh, 
we were getting let known that here. Let's see what his numbers are like. Obviously, we had a nice game last week, which will make those numbers look a little bit better. 17 touchdowns, eight, uh, 11 interceptions. Definitely a little bit better. Want to keep those numbers going, though. It'd be nice to finish the season with, like, 38 touchdowns, like 15 interceptions or something, but that's a tough task. Would need a lot of games like last week, let me tell you that much. And I'm going to go with the play action here. Jacobson, I don't know if I like that block and release. And take our time. Metcalf gets it. Just like last week, first catch of the day. I was worried that they were going to call a, a late hold or something. I was like, the ball's gone. You can't call it anymore. And here he goes, Kenneth. And just like Tanner last week and all the other weeks he was gone, uh, sadly. All right. I mean, that's kind of rude. I, I really like that graphic, and I would have used that graphic if not for the freaking square in his face. Yeah, not a whole lot of blocks from uh, this offensive line for the ground game. And over the middle, we're going to go back to Metcalf, who has been a massive target. You got some slants. Quick throw to the outside. Trying to get Kenneth involved. Don't want to just, like, force him back into action like we kind of are, but definitely want to get him going quickly and early. So, you know, those jitters are out right away. Make a big play early. And that is a tough read. And a really bad job by Patterson is, I mean, the ball's there. It's not the best ball of all time, but it's there. It's catchable. And what he does is kind of waste the play. And that is a tough stand in the pocket. And Patterson is physical and as fast as he is. Why take a hit? That looked deadly. I mean, that looked like it was going to be a hit and a half. Play action. Let's see what we got for ourselves. And there goes Kenneth. Oh, it's not the right way. And he gets popped because of it. Six yards. Cut it inside and it just didn't happen. I don't understand what the hell happened there. But West, uh, they're kind of ready for this, aren't they? Let's see, we got the tight end. And that is a tough sit down. Holy. I mean, it was uh, an option. I thought the smart option would have been to keep running. Sadly, didn't think the same. But either way, first down and... Another first down run as Kenneth powering for a gain of nine really good blocks that time. I mean, there's so many different options here. We're not going to have any blockers. Let's actually block Jacobson. And we can't get it off. We were just about to get out to Patterson. I thought it was a decent setup. I thought it was a decent setup, but they covered pretty well on that. They were smart, though. They were trying to, you know, get us to overthink it. And do you run it? I'm going to hike it before the two. For the second quarter anyways. And Kenneth not really getting help as Elton needs to get out there, man. Slips off a tackle but only gains four. And very similar game so far. The difference is they're going to have the lead. And the field goal is blocked. Nice. Like, I don't know how to feel about it. Because, like, more kicks than not either get blocked or, well, maybe not more than not, get blocked or miss. And if I just kick every kick, I'll never have a block or I'll never have a miss. You know, and it's just like... Is that really realistic, especially from a youngster? I don't know. I don't know. So maybe under 40 I kick, over 40 I don't. I, I don't know. Or maybe vice versa. As Brooks, good job with the help of Alexander. Not going to gain much. Back-to-back -back runs failing for them. Third and nine now after the offense misses a field goal. Be really big for us to get off the field here on a three and out. Red forcing it. Late hit. Chambers. Perfect defense. And... Lucky to not be called on a late hit with red. We kind of came in there late. And uh, thankfully, didn't get called on it. Really good play by Chambers. And here we go. Here goes Caldwell. Doing what Caldwell does. Wow, he actually got caught. Called him Caldwell. You get Metcalf even with missing that game. Still having another really good season. And uh, on par for maybe the league leader. Pitch to the left with Kenneth, and there is nobody out there blocking. Oh, my God. He just came back, and he's on par for death. Offensive line has been struggling in the ground game specifically. And there goes Moore finally getting involved. Gains almost the whole thing, and he does. Wow, what a play. That speed in motion. I don't know how I feel about this. They actually look like they have the outside shade as well. Quick throw to Kenneth. Breaking a tackle and then getting pummeled. 
Oh man, it's it's a little cringeworthy. Some of these hits, they make me feel bad. You got a lot of bodies, but so do we. And Kenneth, not gonna get it, dude. Three straight touches. They're still looking to stop the run. We just need like an inch. And Kenneth shows off that speed, that change of direction gains four. Play action. Last time we ran this play, it didn't really go too well for us. And under pressure, it's still a really good throw. And Moore shows off the speed. One to beat. Can't do it, but to the six. I mean, Caldwell and him are almost like one to one for speed. But there's just something about Moore. He's just faster. I don't know how it is, but he's just is. And speaking of... I mean, that was perfect coverage, yet yeah, he still had just enough of a step to catch it if the ball was on target. Could look, be looking for the fail, fade wheel, and that is a really good throw. It's just a lot to ask for. This play I don't really like, but let's see what we got for ourselves. Looking for that out route from Patterson. And that is a tough one, and he taps the feet down easily. Metcalf burned off the line, but obviously with a cornerback covering Patterson looking for that out route, thought there was a chance he would have thrown a pick if we went to Metcalf, and we were smart to wait as it opened up. Seems like each drive is taking like five minutes from both teams. I mean, this game is blazing on. At least it feels like it is. I don't know. Adams get picked up perfectly, and we dropped back last second and picked it off at the line. Oh, my. Who says he doesn't have hands? That was unbelievable. Last second, realized you weren't going to get the blitz. And the instinctive come off there to save it and catch the pick. That was insanity. Riggs in the backfield with Walker. And there goes Fant for a potential touchdown. And there's Fant for a touchdown. I would start a fight. Trying to celebrate... Already in the end zone, he hits us late. I mean, look at this. Already in. Adams with the hands. That was brilliant stuff. First and 10 from the 25. We kind of got caught off the line late. Red's definitely not going to get in there. And he's going to throw it away. I mean, the line was holding up pretty well for him. He just kind of panicked. Let's go Mafe. And they're going to run as a really good play call. But a huge hit from Adams. A five-yard gain. But... Running into Adams with him in the zone is always a dangerous uh, thing. Oh, wow, Barnes. Give me... Okay, well, at least I got to red last second. And speaking of Barnes... Oh, yeah, it was Barnes. I was about to say, speaking of Barnes... Oh, my Lord. What does he have? He must have jukebox. That was an insane move. Yeah, that's the sucky part with all those players all on the same side together. Barnes instinctively trying to get across the field. Gets pummeled. And Robinson bouncing off a tackler is gaining 16. Great vision. Solid blocking. First down. But Marshall a little bit more over that tight end who's been cooking us as well. And speaking of getting cooked, Chambers, the rookie, burned on the curl for 14 to the 1. Three, maybe four downs to try and get in. Something tells me this game's about to be tied. Just something. I don't know. I'm not an expert. Oh, that would have been so sweet. Touchdown, Chenault, though. Put the hand up and just missed it, I think. Yeah, I mean, we kind of went straight up. There's no one really behind you, buddy. I don't know. I mean, that's that would have been a hell of a read. Pretty good coverage by Porter. Just a great catch. However, though, we do have three minutes to work with, so let's see what this offense can do. And maybe there won't be any as Caldwell gets a nice return. There was a chance from the crease to the 32. All the time in the world, so you obviously don't really care too much about how you're getting on the field. We've got all the options. More on the sweep. Showing off that speed. Waiting for Patterson, but somehow still gets grabbed. Maybe weren't as patient as we could have been, but pretty good play, I suppose. Still pretty good. Let's get Riggs with a lead block. Walker to the left. And it's a pretty good block. Stupid freaking Metcalf. And look at Kenneth fighting. It's only going to gain a four or five. But the effort on that play. Ugh. So much pain. Wa uh, what is his name? Metcalf struggling a bit in blocking. It's really disappointing. But what can you do? I'm going to go with verticals here. You know, we don't. And more. Last second. Gets there. Gets some extra yards. And gets to the 21. Beautiful route. 
I mean, there's obviously a go route, but he just got open so quickly. Got bumped a few times in fairness, but over the middle, Patterson's looking good. And that's a tough one. Why is he jumping so high for it? Why? I just didn't want him to, like, go possession and leave it. Five wide's kind of working, so why not get all these wide receivers out there again? And there's Fant. There's Fant. Touchdown, Seahawks. Back on top. Problem is, it only took us a minute to do so, and Jacksonville's going to get another chance. I mean, as long as we're not turning the ball over, this offense is very tough to stop. It's crazy enough as our defense has been the one that's more susceptible. Oh, Lord. No Sidney Jones has been kind of strugglesome. I know it's not really Chambers' fault necessarily, but just we're, we're a worse defense this game. Oh, my. This season overran it a little bit, so the hit didn't really work out. But with the help, it worked out enough. Oh, crap. I don't even know. Are we running a blitz here? We didn't even get the chance. And Adams ooh, overran it a little bit, but we did get the knockdown. It's a huge play. Keep their scoring drive alive. And for us to not get enough time left. And Oliver not going to happen over the middle. Not really anyone open. He gets open enough. He's a yard short in this situation. I'm calling the timeout, but if I was them, I'd go for it. And with not a whole lot of room to return it anyways, we're obviously going to go punt safe, man. Got to make sure that they don't fake this because I don't know why you wouldn't go for this. So much momentum on the line as well. It is a hell of a punt in fairness, but still. I don't know, dude. I think you go for that fourth and one. If it's fourth and two or even fourth and three, whatever, I probably wouldn't. But fourth and one is literally like a yard. Like, get that. Why wouldn't you? I'm going to go with the quick throws, I think. I was going to run it, but quick throw to the outside. Should be able to get there. And Kenneth gets about eight and out. With this offense, you really never feel like you're out of scoring range. So why not give it a go? Try to wait enough so Patterson can get out of bounds, and he will. Look at the speed of this offense. See if Moore has that out, that outside route running or not. Fant, let's see what happens here. Go out of bounds. Nice fight. Gets out of bounds. That is a strange way to get, <laughs> you know, just kind of stay out there. And instead he kind of steps in front, but the guy overruns it because of that. Suppose he got a bunch of yards. You know, the guy, rightfully so, thought we were going to go out of bounds right away. Patterson deep. It's not really that open. Patterson dropped as expected. Still holding on to that one timeout. They blitz. Walker could be open. Oh, that's a bad route. Thank God the throw wasn't that great. Trusted the pre-snap with Moore, and that route was not clean. Caldwell to the outside. Let's see what he's got. And he's got... What a play by Caldwell. I don't know if this spike's going to work out. Oh, it actually worked out really nicely. 12 seconds. Wow, what a job by Caldwell, because that ball was terrible. Jeez, I was almost picked. Come on, Greer. I'm trying to set this up for Chapman, because I might just take the shot if, you know, our quick reads aren't there. And we're in some trouble there, Caldwell. Oh! Caldwell does it again! What's the clock situation here? We, I was about to say, like, let it run a little bit here? Come on. <laughs> I could have called a timeout of five, but I, I think at that point, yeah. You'd just be happy with the fact that you took the ball from the seven and got a field goal out of it with 54 seconds. Caldwell, though. I don't know. I really love more, but Caldwell's playing well, too. I think we just have too much talent. We just have nowhere to put these guys. Like, we have four starting wide receivers, and it's just like we got to play with as many wide receivers on the field at at a time other than that it's not really much more we can do can't really move any of the lineup other than injuries so i think we just keep it the way it is and just try to have more four wide set let's go with inside running as we should be trying to waste the clock a little bit and then continuing to stop medium passes and nice block called well not going to get much but to the 26 maneuvering well half back stretch let's take a look Fant, really good job. And there goes the speed of Kenneth. Getting about 20 on the very first play to start the second half. Just like that, the numbers look a lot better. <laughs> Two tight ends. See if Jacobson maybe wants to get open. Not really. It's going to be a quick throw to Walker who gets dumped for a gain of three. 200 and freaking. That's a lot of yards, man. Metcalf. Ooh, that kind of tricked me. I wasn't seeing the field there. 
or like at all well, and I'm just glad I dumped it off. I felt like I was about to throw a pick. It seemed like everyone was open, but everyone was covered. I don't even know, dude. I kind of just got lost looking at the line. And we're going to have to change it last second to Patterson, who holds on. That was really good coverage. They bumped the hell out of Fan, and then Patterson last second. Just enough room for me to throw it, but not super confident in actually getting it, though. And we were waiting for the inside. There's Patterson. Go down to the 10. We're moving. Again, this offense is unbelievable. It is so hard to stop. Let's see if we're too aggressive or not. Try to run. I was going to just wait and then just fit it in there to fan, but the safety was kind of on it. We could, took a sack, cover sack. Ironically enough, we have our tallest guys on the inside. And here goes Greer. Ah, I didn't actually want to run. I was trying to roll out to the right to give us more time. Five receivers more in the back of the end zone, maybe. I could have maybe taken that. And under pressure, what a catch by Fant. Throw just got out there enough. Really good pressure on the inside, but that will be a field goal. Could be up by 16, but no, we had to miss a get blocked on a 24 yarder. Still a 13 point game. Red getting locked up. Locked up hard all the time in the world, and he's going to have to throw it away. No one really open. I mean, they obviously did have a lot of guys blocking, but still, how they get no one open, I don't know. Let's go north cut. I like going north cut on the heavier fronts. And that's a free rush. Sacked by Moffin. They couldn't even get two yards on second and two. This could be over. Offense is looking pretty good. Defense is starting to lock up on top of it. Yeah, we're getting a little crazy. Caldwell speeding up. Once that rocket gets going, it's hard to catch up. To the 47. I don't know how many yards we actually gained, but at least 10 to 15, I'd say. Jet sweep, they actually look like they have that covered. Oh, that's bad. I accidentally double tapped it. There's, there's no, like, any other way to say it. I accidentally double tapped. I don't. Mm, that's not a common thing. But that is very annoying. Because Greer had the perfect game, dude. He had the perfect game. We missed, like, no throws. We were throwing dimes. Had zero interceptions. Several touchdowns. Over 300 yards. Or very close to, if not. And now they're running the ball with a chance to keep it close. So dumb, dude. North cut. Can't get any push at all. And under pressure, and Wosu gets the coverage sack. Like the ultra coverage sack. I mean, that took like 40 seconds. 5-Y, they're getting a little aggressive. Could be exactly what the doctor ordered. Let's see what Wosu can do off the edge. Spin move. Kind of actually worked a little bit, but the guy recovered and takes the shot to nobody. What happened to this offense? They have collapsed. They're, they're like just terrible. Go red. And over the middle. Chambers misses. And then Brooks, even worse. Wasn't even Brooks. It was someone else. Actually, was it? Maybe it was Adams. I don't know. I don't know if that ball came out. It kind of felt like he was down. And he wasn't. What happened? And he made a really good play and then just sold. So here, obviously, we try to go for the strip. It slowed him down. And Adams just misses. Has a squared up play and misses. And then the tackle battle, the ball's out. Bop. That chance they had, kind of gone now. Run game dead on this play. Oh, Lord. Jacobson is fast, though. Shows that fastness as he gains two yards on a play that he should have lost, like, several. Kind of got bumped. I don't know who bumped him, but he got bumped on the way out. Inside zone, which has really not been great for us. Like, at all. Let's try it anyways. And there goes Elton. Getting a nice little block for four. Double drag on the five wide. Do we just test more and see if he can burn? And there goes Fant, who will easily get that first down, burying Shaquille Griffin. I got to imagine this game's over. They just blew an, an opportunity that just won't ever come. You know, like us accidentally double tapping A is so rare. And he's open, and he catches it. Patterson to the 23, nearing 400 yards is Greer. He can do no wrong other than when I did wrong, sadly. 
I mean, they want to keep bringing all these linebackers up. Fine. Sure, why not? Let's do it. It's Kenneth Gaines 9. I don't care if we're leading. I'm not just going to run into a freaking wall every time. This could be a quick throw to Kenneth. And, oh, that's not what we meant to do. Tried to recover, couldn't. If he never went out of bounds, that spin would have been so filthy, dude. Yeah, their offense just... They just stalled. This offense just died on them. And <laughs> ever since, we've just kind of been in walking mode. Could be a quick throw out to Patterson. And Duncan Brown, the tight end was open, but I believe in Greer. And look at Greer holding that bumper hard. He got a stiff arm for the first down. Greer really is him, though. You can't deny it. Run from the left to the right. And, oh my god, clothesline by Elton. Deep in from Moore, who would expect it? I should have taken it. That works too, though. Try to lead him inside to give him a chance to run after, but didn't work out. I should have taken Moore inside. He's just so tiny, I was worried that any sort of mistake is like a GG. And I'd rather take the fade than try to run it on this. And that's, that's just DK. I mean, you you got to get more physical at the point, and he just doesn't. Touchdown, game over. Decent uh, positioning, 44-yard line. Game's not over. They can get a quick-ish drive. And that is a huge hit by Osso Brooks. Can't believe we even got the reach on that. Accidentally went three-man deep, but I suppose their biggest need is a quick score, so it's not even the worst decision. And drop by Barnes, who... With his speed is gone. I do not know how he drops that. It counts as a pass deflection, though, I matter, uh, imagine, for that scenario we're looking at. Oh, my. wonder if that counts as a deflection. Ran and blew that up. Fourth and four. Let's see how good Trevor Lawrence is. And, oh, early breakup. The stop. The win. Maybe some things need to be changed. It's pretty open. Oh, there goes Chapman. Just see how the bounds does. See Chapman's route running that left. Pretty easy throw. I mean, a little bad, actually. Kind of had to make him spin. Kind of wish it wasn't a fake. Chapman, even with his speed, would probably get that edge. And we're going to try to follow it as there just wasn't an inside lane to take. Either way, field goal. Fourth and nine from their own 26. They are getting smoked. I just don't understand how they go from looking really good to just nothing for the rest of the game. They've got a lot of time to throw here. And that's going to be picked off by the rookie Chambers who steps out of bounds. But an interception nonetheless. He's had himself a day. He has locked up. And that's going to be the game as Jacksonville just... After doing really well in that first quarter, it just does nothing for the rest of the game. I don't know what the hell that's about, but short field left and right, turn tons of turnovers, and just our offense smoking them. I mean, 45 to 14, it was never that. Well, at least the first half, it was never that, and then it, it just became that. Even Schwartz came on late and, you know, kind of put on a better performance than freaking Trevor Lawrence did. 80 yards and a touchdown versus, you know, 200 yards and two three interceptions. Uh, rushing, Kenneth Walker eased back into it. Not great, but not bad. Uh, and then receiving more of the 115 yards and a touchdown. Patterson, 113 yards of the touchdown. Fant with two touchdowns. Kenneth did have seven catches, in fairness. Uh, Metcalf, three for 33 with the touchdown. Didn't really have that big of a game. Chapman looked better in this one. And then Caldwell with two really clutch plays. Defensively, two sacks for Red and Nwozu. One for Mafe. And then one for these two guys. Interceptions, we had one, two, three. And that pass deflection thing should have been easy as Chambers, the rookie, had four on his own, let alone four for the game. That was a hell of a performance. Morgan with another missed kick. This one was blocked, but still disappointing. Daniel Pierre has an upgrade. Gets a power upgrade, which was actually pretty decent, even though his run block finesse sucks. And then Damian Alexander, I think Field Gen... All right, Field General is the best, but apparently he glitched out and froze on me. Either way, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoyed this one, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, really appreciate your continued support on the channel. And uh, maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care. Second channel, Pierre Plays for non content. Like I said a billion times now, Hogwarts Legacy is kind of the game we're playing right now. And I'm having a pretty good time with it. 
Uh, as far as if you're not new, really appreciate it. Uh, you know, continue to support. That's simply put. Uh, that's about it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I need to change the sliders again. Uh, coverage for them isn't the toughest, and our coverage seems really locked down, but I've changed the sliders a billion times, and nothing seems to work, so we might just be locked in, and our god squad may have to just win another Super Bowl. We'll see, but it's looking pretty good. At times, we kind of look scrubbly, like against the Texans, but for the most part, we look really dominant, and we'll see if we can continue that next week and the week following with our divisional matchups. Sucks we're stuck on this screen. Regardless, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!